Hi everyone, my name is Anton. Okay, you want to run computer vision with cheap boards? $10 for 15 frames per second for YOLO V5. We're going to talk about this today. The story started a couple months ago. You probably know that my channel has a quite few videos about different edge boards, including rock chips. And suddenly, a few months ago, in statistic of one of the video, I saw this. Hmm, is this something new? Wow! And the Euro chip with board cheaper than $10? Wow, it can use Ubuntu. Wow, does it run Python too? Okay, the truth is not so bright. In this video, I will show you how to set up and run everything on this Luxfox Max Pro board. But a few spoilers. Ubuntu didn't work with Rockchip NPU. RKNN Lite cannot be installed in Python. 15 frames per second is actually 12 uh, frames per second and with int 8 quantization without non-maximum suppression. The available memory is not 128 megabytes. Actually, it's much less for this board. So, here we go. Let me show you how to get this board up and running. This board is not salvation, but definitely a good new board that can solve a lot of tasks. So let's go. Installing the system. For Windows, you should use a SOC toolkit and install all the environment for this board through it. I will show this approach, but there is also Linux installation. I haven't tested yet, maybe it's a bit more stable because SOC Toolkit is poorly written. It doesn't see my SD card through my mini SD reader in my laptop. So I just should use my old one SD reader for this. Uh, to make SOC Toolkit see the card, you have to uh, plug it a few times, put on some buttons, and probably after that it will see this card. I don't know why they just didn't use some classic Balena, Etcher, or some other of them. And uh, it's quite bad because I spent a lot of time just on installing system here. Also, I managed to install Ubuntu according to suggested guide, but Ubuntu doesn't work with your chip. I tried to switch on build root, it's some Linux based system that can use all infrastructure here, but it was not installed according to the guide. SSH access to the board didn't work. I managed to fix it by independently installing the system updates through another button like this. It was not in any guide, but it's worked. So I think it's one of the solutions. But otherwise you just need to, for Ubuntu for example, you just install all your files on SD card and run your system from it. And if you uh, did, if you couldn't connect through SSH, just check my approach. Probably it will work. System, as I said, Ubuntu is not suitable if you need as a rock chip uh, NPU. So, but a lot of others example from official documentation, they don't work with Ubuntu. That means you can't use a lot of them. And of course you can't use like pre-built Python wheels or so 
something like this. And you need, if you want some of them, you need to recompile them. At least there is a open CV built in official documentation, so at least you don't need to cross-compile your open CV. Speaking about cross-compilation, let me show you how to set up it. At the beginning I was a bit afraid that I should recompile all the SDK and all the system. Probably it was incorrect English translation in the guide, but it's turned out that this is not necessary. Actually, you need just specific version of Ubuntu. On Windows the easiest way is install it through VCL and uh, Windows uh, subsystem for Linux and it's just Ubuntu 22 uh, but also for probably Linux user you just can install it with Docker and uh, like Lockfox they are providing Docker system for this compilation pipeline I hope it should work easily with it um, after you set up your system you need to clone two repositories lagfox pika and rkmn2 after that you just need to set up two chain with one command and voila it's work now you just need to copy the result of the compilation on the board and run it Now let's talk about the inference. As I already mentioned, it's possible only through C++. And in Lockfox documentation, there is a strange mention that it's possible to execute neural networks in int 16. The state is it support mixed quantization formats, including int 8, int 4 and int 16. But Rockchip itself is quite straightforward here. You can run only with quantization. For RV1106 you just can run with quantization true. So it will result only to int 8 quantization. It's a set do I need to make a video speaking about one why int 8 quantization is not the best format for your neural networks and which problem it will lead to or not? Okay, speaking about YOLO v5. Mm, the official example gives YOLO v5s quantized to int 8. It's work and the speed is pretty good but there are a few problems. When I tried to replicate YOLO V5S, I failed with, within at least reasonable amount of time, like a few evenings. Arcanon expert works fine, but when I took official YOLO V5S implementation, from official repository and runs through RKNN pipeline, it gives me model with different size. Size. It was 9 megabytes instead of 7 megabytes model in the official example. And for 9 megabytes model, it's not enough memory. Why not enough? You can say because the board is 128 megabytes. But the official system builds use, as far as I understand, it's use half of a memory for the camera. Because it's emulate the camera as IP device. You can connect this camera separately. So there are a few approaches. First one, you can rebuild all the system without the camera. But I didn't manage to do this yet. The other, you just can buy 256 megabyte boards 
but at the moment I was ordering it, it they were out of stock. Probably I need just to order the different one. So I am sure that the YOLA after the export will work. Because I just take the different YOLO, YOLO V5 and, and it's worked successfully. And inference time for YOLO V5 uh, N is about 63 milliseconds per inference. But uh, due to a different non-maximum suppression output, uh, the post-processing from YOLO V5 S didn't work. So I also exported a few different classification networks and everything works for this rock chip but the networks should be pretty small and it's pretty important limitation because even YOLO V5 S 640 and 640 doesn't work if it's like official YOLO version but you just can take different one so um, Anyway, uh, probably I will just order the bigger board and run all these tests and put this in my LinkedIn or Twitter on, or Telegram channel, so subscribe. But the, by the way, uh, there are a lot of similar boards with NPU have been released lately. Look like it's time to order them and test them, I hope. They will be on my channel in the next few months. Like this one, or this one, or probably this one. If you are more interested in general information about this board, like parameters, or how you can build different example, I advise you to watch a few videos. I will put them in the comments section. Uh, what I didn't saw in these videos is energy consumption for neural network inference. So idle consumption is about uh, 0.5 watts and consumption at uh, the moment of the inference is about 1 watt. So thank you for watching. I, see, I hope it was helpful. Bye.